What's up guys, Shane Starnes here and I've had a few weeks to use Android 10 on my Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Today I'm going to show you guys 15 new and hidden features on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus with Android 10 and One UI 2.0. Let's go ahead and get started. This video is sponsored by Manscaped. Manscaped is the only men's brand dedicated to below the waist grooming and hygiene. I'm excited to be one of the first to get to try out the new Lawnmower 3.0 waterproof body trimmer, which is one of my favorite electric trimmers. This thing is awesome and it comes with a ton of great features. The Lawnmower 3.0 features an ergonomic design with quality ceramic blades built with advanced skin safe technology. It's powered by a 7,000 RPM motor with quiet stroke technology, a premium 6,000 milliamp hour lithium ion battery with up to 90 minutes minutes of battery life. It comes with a rapid charging dock powered by USB, which means it's cordless, which is perfect for use in the shower. It features all new compact anti-tug adjustable trimmer guards. Now this next part is a game changer. It comes with built-in LED lights to illuminate the grooming area, giving you a more precise and close trim. When you purchase the new Perfect Package 3.0 kit online at manscaped.com, you get the biggest bang for your buck, especially when you use my code SHANE20. My subscribers get 20% savings on your entire order instantly. You'll also get a new replacement blade refill for your lawnmower trimmer delivered to your door every three months, making sure your trimmer stays fresh and clean. And for a limited time, subscribers get not one, but two free gifts, the Shed Travel Bag, which is a $39 value, and the patented high performance anti-chafing Manscaped boxer briefs. I'll be sure to include a link in the description and also be sure that you do use that code SHANE20 for those extra goodies. So the new feature that I'm most excited for is the all new Android 10 navigation gestures. To enable those, we're gonna jump into our display and then we are going to jump into the navigation bar. So you have two options. You still have the navigation buttons, but then you also have the full screen gestures. So you'll go ahead and turn on the full screen gestures. What you get with the gestures, if you swipe up, you're gonna go home. If you swipe up and hold, that's going to bring up your recents. And then if you swipe from the left or the right, that is going to take you back. To me, the navigation gestures on the Android 10 are just much more natural, and I prefer them over the old navigation buttons. So the other thing is that there is now a deeper dark mode integration. So we've already had dark mode on um, Android 9 with the Galaxy Note 10, and in able to turn that on, you would just go into your settings, you would go into your display and you would turn on dark mode. But what you're gonna get is a deeper integration. So we've already had dark mode in like our settings and various aspects of Android. But now if you go to say your calendar, you see that the dark mode has been integrated in the calendar. It's now integrated in the photos app or you know the gallery here it's now integrated into the photos application all google apps will have that dark mode integrated and you're just all around going to have that deeper dark mode integration another really awesome feature of android 10.0 that i loved on the pixel 4 xl that is now on the note 10 plus is the live transcribes so you're going to actually have to download live transcribe from the app store but once you've downloaded live transcribe from the app store, then you can transcribe uh, anything that you say. So if you need to dictate some sort of message, you can just speak and it is going to actually record everything that you say in text form. As you can see, it works flawlessly and quickly and it captures all of your words on the screen. Google Sound Amplifier app now works on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus in the Note 10. Once you have sound amplifier adjusted to your preference, once you are connected to your Bluetooth headphones, they're going to sound better than ever. In your privacy settings, you will notice a few new things here. You've got some ad settings here. You can actually opt out of ads personalization. This instructs apps not to use your advertising ID to build profiles or show you personalized ads. Another new feature in the privacy settings is this activity controls. Once you sign into your Google account, you'll be able to decide which data is stored. That's web and app activity, YouTube activity, etc., and control when your location data is shared and with which apps. If you jump into your digital well-being and parental controls, 
You now have this focus mode, which allows you to avoid distractions from your phone and keep your life on focus. So you can set a work time and a me time. That way, if you happen to be at work during your work time, you won't be able to access certain applications. This will help you to stay focused and on task and keep distractions away. Family Link is also now working on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. This is going to help you set screen time limits, view app activity, manage apps and content restrictions, and see where your family members are. So there's all kinds of features here that can help you to keep your family safe. There's also 65 new emojis, including gender inclusive designs for haircut, weightlifting, and the sauna. So we'll go and check out the sauna, male and female there, and then we'll check out our haircuts. So there's gender inclusive uh, for different emojis. Folders have also been updated to be easier to use one-handed. You can see that it's brought everything down uh, lower on the screen so that you can easily reach it with your thumb. And then there's also uh, a preview when you're changing colors. So you can actually see what the color change for the folder is going to look like. Down here at the bottom of the phone app, you'll notice a new places tab. The places tab is going to search your location and give you information on businesses and places that are nearby. They're gonna give you all kinds of information as far as ratings and then also actual contact information for those businesses. For some businesses that are participating, you'll even be able to place an order directly from that places tab. So one-handed mode on the Note 10 Plus, you used to have to swipe uh, to the side to access it. As long as you're in this three button navigation down on the home button. Another big feature that you'll notice here is that the camera application has been cleaned up with most of the extra features being moved into this more folder. You can still access all of the extra functionality and features of the camera. It's just been cleaned up into this little more tab. Slow-mo selfies have also been added to the camera so you can record slow motion selfies. This is what a slow motion selfie looks like that's now available to you in the Note 10 Plus camera app. Your device care page has also been updated and streamlined. Everything is quick and easy to get to. Battery information, one click storage, and memory, everything is just super easy to get to. The Edge Lighting Plus app also has a few extra options here with the heart fireworks and there are some advanced options here for duration and different colors. There's also a new dynamic lock screen option. If you choose the dynamic lock screen option, this is going to show various images on your lock screen. That way you get a different image every time you go to unlock your phone. So the way that we can get to that is to just search for dynamic lock screen. It's under lock screen and then wallpaper services. If we jump into our gallery, there is also now a OneDrive syncing capability. So you can sync your gallery with OneDrive. So if you're you know, using OneDrive and you're not necessarily using the Photos app, you can actually sync your gallery with the OneDrive. So that integration has been built in to Samsung's gallery app. All right guys, so those are 15 plus features of Android 10 on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. I hope you've liked this video. If you have, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. Lots of Galaxy S20 content coming to the channel. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.